Okay, I'm out. We are here on the same free enlightenment program organized by Ripam Ghana. The reason why Ripam Ghana organized this program because we want to bring African back to their culture, African back to their nature, African back to their heritage. So today we will be talking about one beautiful, amazing plant here, commonly called uh, the castor plant. That is the name. Common name, the English name is called the castor plant. The botanical name is called Ricinus communus. Ricinus communus. That is the botanical name of the plant. The plant you see here, it is toxic into the system. It is poisonous. And here in Africa, we have two species. We have the one that is white in color, completely green like this. Then we have the other one that it is red, the leaves are red, and then the seeds as well are red. So today we'll be talking about more benefits. I, you can come with me so that we see the plant itself. So you can look at the plant itself here. It grows in tropical areas very widely here in Africa. We don't cultivate it, but if you go to China, Asia, they cultivate it in large quantities in estates. And uh, today we will not be talking about the leaves because they are poisonous. We will not be talking about the plant itself, the tree itself. No, we will be talking about the seeds of the plant, the extract, the seeds of the plant. The seeds of the plant. So we will be talking about how to use the benefits of the castor plant, the seeds of the castor plant, how beneficial the seeds are. You can use the seed to produce castor oil. You have been hearing about castor oil, and when you break the seed, you see three seeds like this. You see there are three seeds in one seed. And when you open the seed inside, you see a brown and a cream white color mixed together like an egg, like a brown egg. You can, some of them are bigger, some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. So this is the white castor plant. That's why the seeds are smaller. The other one, the seeds are bigger than this. You can look at the seeds here. How to extract castor oil. When you get home, what are you going to do? You are going to get the harvest out the dry seeds of the castor plant. If you can harvest out the dry seed of the castor plant, you are going to keep it at least for 48 hours. You cover it something so that it can get more heat. Then you pee out the seed inside. Then when you pee out the seed inside, you are going to crush them, pound them in the mortar. Once you pound them in the mortar, you are going to add water to it. And then you boil it. Once you boil it, the oil will come up at the top. You can look for a, a spoon, you remove the oil at the top of the pot. Once you remove your oil at the top of the pot, you get the oil. And you can look at the oil here. This is the oil. You can look at the castor extract oil. Once you extract the oil, the oil is very beneficial in the body. The oil of the castor plant you see here, it can take care of anybody with arthritis, anybody with joint pain. Maybe you spring your body, maybe you spring your hand, or maybe you spring your leg, or maybe you had an accident, you can apply the oil in those spots. The oil can, you see here, it contains antifungal properties, so it can be used for skin diseases, maybe fungal infections, maybe ringworm, maybe scabies in the body. You can still use the oil to apply. But we don't advise you to use the leaves. But if somebody has a spring here, you can still get the oil of the castor plant, you apply on the leaves like this. Then you get it. If it is here, you put it here, and then you tie it with bandage. If it is here, you put it here and tie it with bandage. We use the same leaf with the castor oil for bones. Anybody with bone problem, maybe you had an accident, the bone have broken, we use the leaf, you apply the castor oil on the leaves, then you tie it with bandage. Every morning you have to remove it and put a fresh one. Every morning you have to remove it and put a fresh one. It be bones to be strong. And then it contains antimicrobial and antifungi. It is very, very good for skin diseases, skin infections. 
and uh, you can use the castor oil for hair anybody with hair problems because you see somebody now maybe sometimes you look at somebody your hair will be cutting up at the front that is fungal infection you can use castor oil maybe you can use castor oil as well for hair growth anybody with bad hair you can still apply castor oil with anybody with hair problem maybe fungi dandruff in the hair you see something growing from your hair you see brown brown things will be coming out from the hair you can apply castor oil for such problem castor oil is used for making hair oil you go to market you see most of the hair oil in the market is produced out of castor oil it's very very good for skin it's good for oil. hair it's good for skin infections and we don't advise you to use the leaves of castor plant except you consult your doctor around or your botanist around before you can easily use the leaves because it is poisonous it is toxic into the system so thank you for watching our video uh, make sure you share with friends make sure you share with family and subscribe to our channel then drop a comment below and make sure you turn up so that anytime we drop a new video you can always be notified thank you for watching we'll be coming out with another video talking about the root for hyena and fibroid but the leaves we don't advise you to consume them thank you for watching